Good morning, happy people. We're about to feed this baby ringneck, this beautiful baby Indian ringneck parrot. We're going to feed it with a syringe. We're going to feed it some Tropican baby bird food hand feeding formula. Hi, I'm Robert Day. You're watching Daybird Aviaries. And we have lots of fun with all kinds of pets and livestock and gardening and we just want to invite you along to come and see what we're doing and hang out with us for a little while about 15 minutes three times a week we invite you into our homes and we are just so happy and proud that you have chosen to join us so let's get right to it so here's our big tub that we keep the hand feeding formula in and the syringe that I use it is an o-ring syringe I have links in the description to these and a flexible tip I always show this in every video so that people don't think I'm jamming a hard plastic tube down a baby bird's throat I use these tiny little cups to mix up the formula in we're using some really really hot water and I have been doing this for over 30 years I know the consistency that's needed and I can pretty much feel the temperature that is needed um, if you're new to this then follow the instructions on your package of hand feeding formula follow it to the letter pretend like you're baking your grandmother's famous lemon glaze pound cake for the very first time to take to the ladies auxiliary meeting at church and grandma is going to be there and you don't want to disappoint her and so you follow that recipe to the very letter and if you have any questions you call and ask about it so if you have questions about what I'm doing then please leave me a a comment down below and I'll be glad to address it in our next baby bird video and we do a baby bird video every Friday it seems uh, as long as I have baby birds to to feed now I have that mixed just a little too thick I'm gonna add just a little bit more water to thin it out and people ask well what do you do when you mix up too much formula well you know after having done this for 30 years I find it great joy when I mix up exactly the the right amount of formula but when I end up with more formula, I have colonies of invertebrates, uh, isopods and crickets and mealworms and such as that, that would gladly eat. So here is our beautiful little olive green. Now olive is not the name of the mutation, that's just a descriptive word used to describe the color. The mutation is gray green, but isn't he just beautiful, beautiful? So the the phenotype is gray green the genotype is is blue he is split to blue he is visually gray and green at the same time and he is split to blue he carries the blue color in his genetic makeup if both parents had been blue then he would be a visual gray instead of a visual gray green or do you not want the formula anymore, baby? He is eating. He is eating on his own pellets. And he is not wanting to be fed very much anymore. He's eating uh, the frozen chopped vegetables that we defrost out. Let's see if we can get him to turn all the way around look at that isn't he just the cutest thing just cute 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 as can possibly be now Catherine's been playing dolls with him and she was letting him help her draw but he decided to mess up one of her little drawings and so he can't draw anymore but he plays what goes with Jeremiah so the kids have him out 
during their free time when they're not doing schoolwork or chores. And he watches YouTube videos, mostly Mr. Beast giving away houses. And he's just a very curious, inquisitive little bird. He notices everything that goes on around him. Everything that changes, he takes note of. So we have some more little birds I'd like to show you. Let's say bye-bye to the Mr. Ringnet bird. Yeah, you gonna climb up there? Yeah, daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. Let's get our new friends out, okay? So to preface this next part, I just want to say that our family has received some pretty devastating news about my mother's health. health. Um, it's not a very good prognosis, but anyhow, I was feeling kind of blue yesterday and I went for a ride uh, just by myself, drove around for a good while, and I stopped at the feed store for Jonathan Works. Now he was off yesterday, he wasn't there. But I stopped there because they, this time of year, they have hundreds of baby chicks. And y'all know me, I love baby chicks. I want you to know that I exercise serious, serious self-control. I did not buy any baby chickens at all. And they had some beautiful, beautiful babies. Um, just amazing amazingly beautiful little birds uh, I did not buy any baby chickens whatsoever in a tub full of barred rocks and the the new hybrid the tractor supply sells these birds as sapphire gems everyone else just calls them blue rocks and that's probably a much more descriptive name they put the breeders put a blue andalusian rooster over barred rock females and the way that the genes work you end up with a sex linked cross all the babies are a bluish color but the roosters are spotted polka dotted like a cuckoo barred rock rooster would be and the females are just solid blue so they had a whole bunch of those and they were in the tub with a whole bunch of barred rocks and they had some new hampshire reds in there and you know a bunch of beautiful little blue and black and red chickens and I saw these two little white birds I knew immediately these are not chickens and so I asked um, Jonathan's boss about them and he said well you know those aren't chickens I'm like well duh I know they're not chickens and I asked him how much they were and he sold them to me at his cost which is way cheaper than what I would be able to get them. I don't know if he was just feeling sorry for me or if they were just the last two he had and he wanted to get rid of them or if he was just giving me a discount because, you know, my kid works there. But anyhow, I got them, I brought them home and all the kids came up to try to guess what they were. And they said, that doesn't look like a baby chicken. Daniel thought they were ducks. I don't know how in the world Daniel thought they were ducks. I was telling everybody, it's not a baby chicken. It's not a baby duck. And I was kind of surprised. No one guessed what they were. They guessed quail. They guessed pheasants. They guessed guineas. Now, all of those were pretty good guesses. Catherine even thought they were baby peacocks. So they do look remarkably like baby peacocks. But what gives it away is that they have they have a little snood right there, just a little itty bitty snood. Oh, come here! I know you're you're down there all by yourself and scared. Here, look, I got the last two, and I asked him what kind are they, and he said, "Well, I'm not really sure." He said, "I bought them as royal palms." But they don't look like royal palms to me. But you know what? Royal palms start out looking just like this. But that's okay. Because they're mine now. And that's what's most important. Now I know that we have a mama turkey. Yeah, these are turkeys, by the way. Royal palm turkeys. We have a, a royal palm female turkey. And it's hilarious. She thinks Jeremiah is a boy turkey. She squats down in front of him all the time. He he accidentally kicks her sometimes just because she's in the way 
and he has things in his hand and you know he's not kicking her to get rid of her or to get her out of the way or whatever that may be but sometimes he trips over her and stumbles over her she is always on the ground in front of him but she is hilarious uh, last year she took over a, a clutch of baby chickens that a mama hen hatched mama hen walked around with mama turkey for a couple of weeks and then the mama hen just said well forget this and she gave up um and she just gave all the babies to the turkey and the turkey raised all those baby chickens um, and those are the frizzled roosters that we have in with our pen of um easter eggers look at that sweet baby going to sleep aren't they amazing i just love these now if you've ever wanted a pet yard bird a female turkey is the way to go there's nothing tamer sweeter calmer more docile easier to pick up than a female turkey mainly because she wants to mate and she thinks that you are the daddy turkey but anyhow turkeys can be amazingly sweet animals Look at them going to sleep in my hands. I just love them to bits and pieces. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please be sure to do so. Leave us a comment. Read the descriptions. I have some pretty good links down there for some things you might be interested in. Find us on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok. Sometimes I even still tweet on Twitter. God bless you. We love you. Bye-bye.